What's going on everyone? ODC here and I'm back with another action figure review. Today's review, we're going to be doing the Four Horsemen Figure Obscura Headless Horseman exclusive action figure. Um, this is a part of the Figure Obscura line. It's technically not a Mythic Legion and technically not a Cosmic Legion. It is kind of the random character that they have chosen similar to Krampus of last year um, around the holiday. I believe Krampus was around the Christmas area. Um, and then obviously October, this is perfect fitment um, with the headless horseman. Really cool. Um, fall is my favorite time of year. So this is just a little coup on top of it being my favorite time of year. I get a exclusive, nice exclusive figure to put with my collection. And I'm actually digging these figure obscura um, toys. They're 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 quite um, I don't know they're they're very niche I would say, but they're still very welcoming. And um, I really do enjoy the fact that we're getting characters that you probably would not get, um, and figures that we haven't really seen anything of. Like I don't even remember what was it. Maybe McFarlane did. Uh, the he a headless horseman figure way back, um, but even Krampus, um, maybe McFarland did one. I, I have no idea. I don't even remember seeing or hearing about a Krampus figure. But regardless, we have now both, um, and this is really cool. It's using pr a lot of pre-existing Mythic Legion parts, which makes perfect sense. It's it's using pre-existing um, mount parts, which you see the mount right here. And some new parts, too. So there's a lot of cool stuff going on here. If you caught my um, showcase unboxing live stream, then uh, I kind of showed everything off as far as the set goes. Uh, the set ran around $120. Um, if you There was an all-in. I just got the figure itself. I didn't get the all-in. I think the all-in was around $140, um, and it came with like a, a T-shirt, a mug, and a couple other different paraphernalia things, like a couple pins and stuff like that. It said, like, Figure Obscura and Headless Horseman, stuff like that. So, pretty cool, and I, I like that they're, uh, they're doing this in the nick of time for Halloween. Uh, I, Halloween's my favorite holiday. I was having some issues with kind of balancing the flame effects. Now, I really wanted this flame effect right there but it is very heavy for that hand. And my hand is a little bit loose, so it keeps kind of jiggling around. Now, um, I've heard some actually some customizers that uh, are pretty intrigued with this figure just for solely the parts, which is fine. I mean, you could totally give this mount to someone else. Um, he looks very menacing and evil. Um, and you could absolutely part this figure out if you wanted to and make some sort of other character out of that. That's the greatest thing about Mythic Legions. They're fully modular. You can mix and match. Even the horses, you can mix and match parts. So if you want to make up your own kind of horse, you could do that. Um, that's the, the greatest thing I think about this line is the interchangeability. I am loving this cape. This is one of the nicest capes I have seen from a, um, from a toy maker. This is really nice quality stuff. This is stuff that I would buy on like aftermarket, uh, eBay, third party, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is some really good quality, thick material here, but not thick enough where it's, you know, it's, it's not so thick where it's, it's kind of obnoxious, um, the cape, but it is fully wired all the way from the clasp right here for the collar all the way down and around so you can really get this thing flowing if you want to um, but this is a very nice cape so very well done on the four horsemen this was a very well planned figure now i'm just going to remove the cape really quick and it is on a chain which is really cool um, this is just like a thin metal chain right here and the clasps are plastic and they are kind of pinned in. They're actually kind of stapled in to the 
cape. So red on the inside, black on the outside, pretty self-explanatory there. Um, and I'm going to remove the hand, or the head actually, I'll go ahead and remove the head right there. And I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit. Um, so here's the peg hole on the back, and this is what the flaming effect looks like on the back of that. So you can have this in his hand, like so. Like I said, you can have them kind of looking like he's throwing a, a flaming pumpkin at you, or about to. Kind of have him rear up, and like he's about to whip it right at you. Um, but the issue I was having, especially when he's on the horse, is gravity is constantly pulling this guy um, downward, whether it's forward or backwards, and it's wanting to kind of just do this constantly. Um, and that's really not really anybody's fault. I, maybe it's just mine that's really loose in the wrist, but he definitely has a loose wrist, so that kind of sucks. But you can depeg the head, and this is what the hand that uh, has the molded neck peg on looks like. And it is very well covered, so um, you won't even see the neck peg on the hand. And we're back with the Headless Horseman now. Um, he looks really nice. Very loving this uh, reuse of the Valak slash the Valak Bardrick body here. Um, I love the gripping hands. Just give me as many gripping hands as I could possibly get. And it's just, I love it for variety's sake. He does come with a sword. We've seen this from wave one. <sighs> Nothing too crazy here with the sword but is well painted and it looks good. Um, here is the hand, which is a molded on ball peg for the head. Um, and you could have this head on there if you wanted to. You could have whatever head you want and it kind of pegs on there. Here is the flaming effect hand. And it looks like it's resting on there pretty decently. And this is actually a pliable plastic here for the eyes. It's not a hard plastic. You don't have to worry about snapping or breaking it. You know what it feels like? It really does feel like the Tamashi Nation's um, flame effects that uh, Bandai would come out with as far as like SH figure arts, like flame effects. That's what this feels like, that kind of quality where it's, it's stiff, but it's still like you can feel it's kind of pliable and flexible so you don't have to worry about snapping or shattering it really nice paint detail for both the uh pumpkin heads here looks really good love this flaming effect it looks so darn good i just wish it was a little bit lighter um here is the hair the hair piece <laughs> i once went to a doctor and he said hey you have hair piece. And I was like, what? What do I have? No, no, no. You're bald. You have hair piece. And I was like, should I be worried? I don't think I've been with anybody that's got something like that. And he's like, no, 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 no. Hair on your head, stupid. And, I <laughs> and then <laughs> next up, we're going to look at the gripping hands here. He does come with three gripping hands. So there are those hands right there. And then we got another kind of like rawr, grabbing hand. I'll just call it grabby hands. He's got two grabby hands. He's got three gripping hands and a holding head hand, which is cool. And a partridge in a pear tree. Wrong season, stupid. Uh, and then here's the neck peg. But before we get to the neck peg and how that goes in, we'll just show off the headless stump neck gruesome portion piece. <laughs> um, this guy's definitely seen better days in his day. Better days in his day? Oh, okay. So we'll go ahead and remove the neck. There we go. So you want to take that off first and then kind of work this part out. Um, 
and I believe you actually want to have this side facing outward. So I actually had it backwards. So when you have the neck in, you want to have it facing that way because your spine is always towards the back because the way the head would sit and blah, 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 all that fun stuff. But then you can pull that out and then take this neck and stick it on there, just like so. And actually what you want to do is you want to get, once you get this out, you want to take the newly sculpted neck accessory piece for the collar, pop that in first, make sure that's secured, just like so. Make sure it's on there nice and secure and such. Then take the neck, which actually settles down onto that little peg for the collared piece, and then settle this one in. Oops. Sorry, new plastic and it's being stubborn, sorry. Um, and then swivel it so we got the neck right. And now he has a head, almost. Anyway, um, but here's the pumpkin head. And that's what the pumpkin head looks like on the headless body. Looks really cool. Let's get his sword in there. And now imagine if this thing was chasing you down the street. <laughs> with his sword. <laughs> he is not a happy camper. He's like, where's my head? I lost my head. Where did my head go? <laughs> Do you know where my head is, sir? Um, now let's put the flaming head on there and see what, what we got here. Is the whole neck gonna come off? I knew that was gonna happen. I knew it. I knew it to be true. Whee! I love that little pop you hear. All right, so we'll get this hand off of there, and then we'll put the flaming one on. That'll be cool. All right, let's get that back on there. I cannot. Why is this such a pain in the ass? There we go. All right, so let's get this flaming head on there. Let's see what we can do. All right, so you could have this displayed like this, too. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy, but it's really cool because the collared piece actually has enough um, space to fit the flaming piece on there too. So, or if you wanted to have that off, you could do just the flaming eyes and that is horrifying as well. So it looks really good, man. Let's see, he's gonna challenge you to a duel here. get into a fighting stance here. Does he have la vertical hinge joints? No, just a lateral for this one. But regardless, he is ready to go. So you better watch your, you better protect your neck. Better watch yourself, bro. Oh, slice and dice. Slice and dice. Slice and dice. Anyway, um, I'm having too much fun. <laughs> I can't help it. Uh, <laughs> so you could pick your poison, what, what head you want him to go with. Personally, I like, I don't know which one I like. I don't know. But that's how you want to have the head in there. I actually had it backwards, so I apologize for the beginning of the review. But, uh, yeah, he looks good. I, I might just have him with the head off and him holding the pumpkin. Maybe, like, taunting someone, like, oh, oh, my, you know? Oh, oh, my. So the holding hand, does this have a hinge on it? It does have a hinge. A rather stiff hinge, but it is there. So you can have him holding his peg hand like a dis. A dis much. I understand. Anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about here. It is rather a tight fitment. I would definitely heat that up. Don't do what I just did, which is play with... You're playing with fire there, Anthony. 
Uh, <laughs> but uh, it looks good, man. It looks good. You could have him kind of, you know, casually just, oh, hello, welcome. Even though he wouldn't be saying anything because he has no head. But uh, it'd be funny if the pumpkin started talking, like the pumpkin talked out of town. Like, oh, hello, welcome to Hallow's Eve. So be sure not to get ahead of yourself. Yeah, I said it. All right, and there he is with his cape um, and the pumpkin head on his hand. Let me just adjust that. There we go. Pumpkin head on the hand, a flaming one, and just kind of standing neutral. Um, he's wanting to kind of do this weird, like, bend at the knee a little bit. He's a little bit loose in the knee. It's, it's probably just mine. Maybe I got a funky one. But... Uh, Mine is a little bit loose in certain areas, like the wrist and the knees. Um, I haven't experienced this with a Mythic Legion before, or even the figure Obscura, or any sort of Four Horsemen figure. I haven't really experienced any loose... Well, I want to say maybe version 1 Artemis Silver Cord. Uh, her ankles are extremely loose. Um, but the figure itself is really cool as far as articulation does go. Now, technically, he does have a swivel in the head for the hand, so that is a thing. It's just really tight. Um, so what I'm going to do for the sake of the review is just kind of pop that off with the hand off, or the head hand off, excuse me, and I'll pop this hand on. And then we'll go through articulation and range of motion and such. Let me get this off as well. All right. So as far as his articulation does go, his head doesn't move anywhere because there's no head. <laughs> if you do have the peg head in, you would be able to swivel at a full 360 rotation. He would also have some movement in the head, which looks up about that far and looks down about that far. And when you're looking at him, he can also tilt side to side. Um, no jive turkeys, unfortunately. There's not really any jive turkeys. There's no movement in the actual head. So no turkeys, no gobbles. Arms go up about that far. They go down, full 360 rotation in the arm. He's got a single bend at the elbow, a swivel at the elbow, swivel at the gauntlet, swivel at the wrist. He does have lateral hinge joints on um, on this gripping hand. Now, this gripping hand, which is kind of like this, what's really meant for the sword, has a vertical hinge joint, which I should probably put this hand in there for the sword. So, there's that. Uh, all the rest have lateral hinge joints. Um, he can swivel at the waist. He can pivot side to side a little bit. Swivel, crunch back, crunch forward. He can do the splits perfectly. Rob Van Dam that. Legs go forward, legs go back. Upper thigh swivel. He has a single jointed knee. He has a swivel at the knee as well. He can pointy toe, pointy heel, ankle pivot, and ankle swivel. So, Okay, and uh, for his steed, his companion, his horsey, whatever you'd like to call him. As my nephew would say, a nanu. The, here he is. I mean, this is a lot of parts reused from Aethir's horse as far as the head sculpt goes and the hair on his neck. Um, the Clydesdale kind of lower legs, or I should just say legs. Um, but the horse body itself has been reused. Uh, we've seen it with a couple others. Um, Dubon's horse is using similar parts, which I don't have a problem with. I mean, a horse is a horse is a horse, of course. Would you know a horse of... I'm sorry, I'm going into the Mr. Ed song now. Um, how cliche of me. But, like I said, with the opening intro, the hair on the neck, I'm definitely going to stick with this, just because it was a little bit more of a pain in the rear end to get in, to, pegged into the neck than this one is. This one is much simpler to get plugged in just because it's laying kind of flat. 
And who knows, maybe down the line, I'll be able to use this with a different horse in case he's got this hair, this type of hair, and I don't want him to have that. So I'll hold on to that. Um, the horse itself, though, really nice, subtle um, paint job here. Um, but it's really well done in the right places. Now, if you're looking for a steed, um, you don't necessarily have to get this set for the steed. There are other steeds that are available um, or are going to be available, especially through pre-order. Like I said, Dubon's coming out with a horse. Poxus is coming out with a horse. So there's plenty of options for you. The Moose is available right now. Go get Adler. He's absolutely amazing. He's my favorite out of any of them. Um, but I really love this kind of screaming, like angry horse face. I like it. I like it quite a bit. And we haven't really seen too much of this horse face other than Aether's steed. Um, I like the kind of different hair that we've got for the head sculpt, it's kind of flowing downward and then kind of flowing out and crazy. Like he's really upset. It looks really good. I like, I like the red for the eyes and it's really like a almost like a glossy red and it really almost looks like like uh, a candy apple red you know and I really like that it looks more demonic um, we've got some kind of so you got the teeth right here looks really good the um, like nice pink color for the tongue and then we've got the harness right here. I'm not sure if this is a new sculpt for the harness. Maybe it is. If you know, let me know in the comments. Um, but we've also got the stirrups right here on both sides right here. Very simple to get their feet in. No issues there. And the saddle itself. Uh, we've also got the reins right here, which kind of go to the head um, headpiece right there for the uh, harness. And then we've got the saddle, which looks really nice. It's like a gray and a black and a couple different grays. Actually, it's like a, almost like a dark gray right here. Then a little bit of like a leathery type grayish color right here. And then we've got a different type of like, it's, this almost looks like a purplish gray right there for the little pad for the harness. So it looks really good. Everything looks very nice. Um, the tail is painted nicely. Uh, there's a little bit of subtle hint of black paint shading going throughout there. The feet are red. Or I should say the feet. I should say the hooves are red. They're painted red. And I feel like that really does fit in. And like I said, you really could just give this to a Mythic Legions villain if you wanted to. It doesn't have to be... The headless horseman it doesn't um so even if you want to give this steed to somebody else and you could just have the headless horseman kind of posing on his own or if you wanted to part them out you could do that um as far as the horse's articulation does go the head can look up from this whole neck piece right here can look up about that far and it can look down it can pivot side to side um, the head can look back about that far and it can look down. So you do have some head articulation there and it does pivot a little bit as well. So it is on that ball joint. So you can look back and forth. You can get a lot of expression out of this horse. This is a very well engineered horse. Um, we do have hinges for, or yes, we do have hinges for the legs and hinges in the knee. And it bends about oh, more than 90 degrees. We also have a swivel at that knee as well. Very similar to the Mythic Legions. And then we have a hinge joint for the foot right there. Um, we also have an ankle pivot. Um, you kind of have to hold this. But it does pivot a little bit back and forth. So that's nice. Um, and then for the back legs, you do have this ball joint which it does kind of kick back and forth like that. And the foot rears back and kicks just like so and can go forward a little bit. The legs are also on a hinge, which you can get the leg to really go all the way back if you wanted to. And you can hinge it forward if you wanted to as well. A little bit stiff. Um, you can... It does have a hinge going that way as well. Oh, 
what just fell off his hair fell off um and then you can have the foot kind of tilt back and forth and then you've got ankle pivot a little bit and knee swivel as well the tail is on a hinge joint and it can swivel as well so if you wanted to have the tail going that way you could um, it is a ball peg joint so you can just pop that out if you want to put a different tail on him you could or have him tailless or whatever maybe that's his compensation for the headless horseman he's the tailless horse you know <laughs> you could go that route if you wanted to um, <laughs> um his hair just fell out so if the hair ever does fall out it's kind of on this little like lip situation here and you just want to fit that lip right back into the head just like so and no issues there so very nicely done um very pleased i love these mounts i'm hoping that we get a friggin bear for atlas in the future so help me god they have been teasing at a bear for atlas since the inception of wave one so <laughs> I'm hoping that one day we get a damn bear for Atlas the Conqueror to ride. Still holding out hope. But I got to say, this is a really nice set. Um, let me get his cape back on here. And if I could just recommend something while putting the cape on, try not to put the cape on with the clasp side on first and then try to tuck it over with the cape over this. Put the cape on going this way first put the cape going underneath first because there's more ground to gain going that way and then that should just slide right over you don't want to force it so final thoughts for the headless horseman figure obscura set um i love it i absolutely love it and it's a win 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 so whether you have him displayed like this or whether you have him displayed like this with this neck peg piece on there with the pumpkin or whether you want to switch it and have the flaming head on the neck piece or have him holding it like so or just if you don't like the jack-o'-lanterns at all or the flaming additional piece you don't need any of that you could just have them set up just like this with a gripping hand and if that's what you want to do go for it the fact that you have a lot of options here the fact that we're getting a mount as well is very nice. Um, now, a lot of people thought that, you know, it, you know, it's a little expensive at 120. I have to agree. It is a little expensive at 120, but um, the, qual the sheer quality that you're getting as far as paint detail goes, and this is more of an exclusive type figure. It's more of a niche figure. I wasn't really expecting everyone to really want to get this. It's not a Mythic Legions character. It is not a mainstay character. It, it, it's, it's just kind of a tribute. It's a tribute figure at best. And that's what it is. And try to go into this understanding that. Um, if you missed out on it, I, I understand. I, I've missed out on a lot of stuff that I've wanted in the past. But, you know, there's plenty of other stuff to go around too. So... With that being said, um, I wanted to say this is definitely a two thumbs up. But yeah, I would definitely recommend it. Um, and I'm sure those of you that did pre-order, if you haven't gotten yours yet, um, you're going to love this guy. You're really going to love him. He's a really nice figure. Yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. And I'll see you guys on the flip side.